United States is lowest in numerous categories. Uh, we're lower than the world. I did more for the black community than anybody with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln. This is the hardest working president in history. Well, I'm sick and tired of this nonsense and these cliches. The Trump administration is the most terrible thing I have ever seen. If Mr. President and his bootlickers stay in power, the whole country will be ruined, including you and me. I have to say, I regret my vote for Trump. Under Trump's administration, the life of Americans has not been great. It's getting worse. At the beginning, you thought life wasn't bad, because you had a job and you could earn some money. Then, boom. The GDP drops 32.9%, which is a historic fall, and the jobless rate soared to 14.7%, the highest level since the Great Depression. What an interesting comparison. If the money is gone, you can make it again. But if your life is gone, you're completely screwed. Look around. Check. Almost everyone now knows someone who is sick. It's not a virus you play with. More than 5 million positive. More than 160,000 deaths. Which is more than the total number killed in wars over the past 70 years. Despite these facts, the authorities haven't stepped up to take responsibility. What they need to do is not to keep attacking China, but to take a closer look at the repeated shutdown of the Fort Detrick lab and do a better job of epidemic prevention and control. Was it China that told Trump he didn't have to wear a mask or read the brief? China, they took quarantine in January and the news reported it every day. Of course, if you are lucky enough that you are healthy or recover from the virus, you might face two conditions. For one, you will receive a $1.1 million bill for your COVID-19 treatment. For another, you might walk down the street and get beaten or shot. And if you're a minority, the odds of that may skyrocket. Just look at Chicago. The last time I saw it, it was the Decepticon invasion in Transformers 3. With this crime rate, can you believe that the response the government did was to reduce the police budget? And worst of all, the budget might just be the least unbelievable of all the unbelievable things going on right now. This is basically the most unacceptable thing to me at the moment. One Trump isn't enough, now one more? They are all cheats and fakers, all day going around with questions that they never face up to. The White House now has a 70% turnover rate of reliable senior officials. That is what I can't understand. And what exactly makes people like Trump and Pompeo qualified? Zero political experience? Abuse of power? Or the poor store of historical knowledge? In 1917, they say, right? You know, the, the, great, the great pandemic has certainly was a terrible thing where they lost anywhere from 50 to 100 million people. Probably ended the Second World War. All the soldiers were sick. If you ask them, how do we deal with security issues? They will most likely say, of course we deal with data security first. Five million Americans are positive because we Republicans don't care how many people are facing life-threatening situations. It's funny, but at the same time, it's scary. On the one hand, all the cut and dried political maneuvers against China are designed to obfuscate and cover up the fact that their governance is bad. On the other hand, today the government can take a shot at a foreign company, and tomorrow it may take a shot at an American company that gets in their way and takes your property for themselves. This is the signal of ignoring the law, and also the worst part. Another dangerous signal is that the power holders frequently emphasize ideology on an extreme and simple terms. The CCP Communist Party, and we must not return to it, has never. Well, everybody knows that the world is not a black and white world. It's complex, colorful, and vibrant. So when a person begins to judge something in simple extremes, his only purpose is to intensify conflict and cause fanaticism. Done. Because the extremes are too tempting, those guys back you don't need evidence. The you can kidnap an entire just society mean, just by shouting and repeating some America words over and over. Great again. This is terrible, which means the average citizen could be taken advantage of. 
and the person who started it all earns everything at your expense. Actually, the interview of David West is quite impressive. We are just dealing with something that, you know, we've we've kicked the can down the field. Um, you know, we've tried to use these red scare tactics and we've tried to, you know, use the propaganda to keep the nations at bay. If you've studied the 60s, it's the same language. Don't let them pull you into this bullshit because it's, it's the Iraq war, weapons of mass destruction type propaganda. Nobody is a fool. Must care for its own citizens first. This is totally bullshit. He and his friends only care about their own power. They're the ones causing the crisis in the United States today. If they stay in power, it may be the real last of us. Don't buy Trump's lies anymore. We don't want war, and we don't want to lose our lives. America's fate is in our own hands, not in the politicians. And the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. And this is their new hoax. Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all, but it's something that we have uh, tremendous control. Here could be worse than the problem itself. We can do this by Easter. Nobody would have ever thought a thing like this could have happened. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. This is voluntary. Crush the virus, and that's happening. We're going to be listening also to the great doctors. We're very close to a vaccine. The disinfectant, where it knocks it out. This is going to go away without a vaccine. We have met the moment, and we have prevailed. Many of these people aren't very sick, but they still go down as a case. So it's dying out. You're going to have a kid with the sniffles, and they'll say it's uh, coronavirus. It's going to sort of just disappear, I hope. Getting under control. The nation must care for its own citizens first. I think we are in a good place. It will probably, unfortunately, get worse before it gets better.